Hello guys, it is Shivam here. So as you can see that we have created a two buttons, signing with Google and signing with Apple. So let's move to the Firebase and connect the Firebase, create project, uh, give you a project name. So test app, accept the terms, click on continue, click on continue. Again, the accept Google analytic terms, create project, just wait for a few seconds. As you can see, it is creating the test app project. So as you can see, the project has been created. Now let's move to the Firebase, click on iOS as we need to set up the iOS first. As we, you can see there is an Apple bundle ID. So let's move to the Xcode and copy the bundle ID from there and paste it on Firebase. So just wait for a few seconds. Yeah, let's go to the signing in capabilities. and copy the bundle identifier from here and we need to paste it in apple bundle id click on register app and wait for a few seconds yes it is done so now download the google service info dot plist file and we just need to cop move this file to the x code so make sure that it should be in google service uh, slash info dot plist file it shouldn't return anything rather than this so just edit this part as you can see on the screen and just move below in the info screen click on finish as we need to uh, copy the reverse client id and just paste in the url ties function as it is as it will help us to do the google authentication part so go on url types and paste on URL schemes. So Google authentication part is done. So let's move to the Firebase and finish our setup. So click on next, go on next, go on next and continue to the console. So as you can see the iOS setup has been done. So let's move to the authentication part as we need to enable the Google authentication. So let's click on get started function and go to the google and enable the google part as we need to here add the support email id so you can add anything click on save just wait for a few seconds as you can see the google enab has been enabled so now we go to the power dev and add the google signing dependency and just copy and paste in the perfect eml file So we just need to paste it pop spec YAML file. So paste it here and click on control save function to run this dependency in this project. Okay, it is done. So let's move to the Firebase auth function. We also need to copy this Firebase auth as it will help us to uh, create the authentication through the app. So go in installing copy the firebase auth and just paste it here we also need a firebase core function okay so as you can see we have added three dependencies now we need to add the cloud firestore function as it will help us to upload the data in the cloud firestore as we will uh, upload the when the user use the google authentication then we also want to show the users da user data in the cloud firestore so we need to add the cloud firestore dependency in the app so just copy and paste it here and click, click on control save to run this dependency in the app so we have added here go to the pod file file and just make it 13 
So we need to add in the main dot dot file these two functions to enable the Firebase in the app, as you can see on the screen. Now go to the pages, click on new file. We need to create an dot dot function for the authentication. Let's clear the class name auth methods. So as you can see, we have created a signing with Google function. So if the user result is not equals to none, then we'll get the user data and upload to the cloud Firestore. So we'll create a map here. So string dynamic and we'll create a user info map. And we'll create, uh, we'll get the user email. So user details dot email. We'll also get the user name. So user details dot name display name. Now we'll get the user uh, image URL. So we'll go to the US user details dot photo URL. And we also get the user ID. So user details dot UID. Now we need to upload the data. So we create a new file, which is which name will be database dot dot. You know to class create a class which name is database methods. Future.
So we need to upload the data to the Firebase Firestore. So we'll write Firebase Firestore dot instance dot collection. We will make a collection name user. Then we need to upload the doc ID. So we'll get doc user ID and we'll upload the map here. So we'll use the set data to upload the user info map. Now let's get the ID database method dot add user. We'll pass the user ID here. So we we'll write user details dot UID and user info map. Then we as the authentication is done. So we'll make the user to the move to the home screen. So we'll use a material page root yeah, navig navigator to move to the user to the home page. As you can see the authentication path is done. So we'll go to the gesture detector and we'll call the auth methods. And just we write sign with Google function to the. So let's run the file. So we'll write flutter run to run the project in our emulator. So just wait for a few seconds as it is running. So as you can see, the build is done. So now let's move to the Firestore database to enable the Firestore and we'll change this also change the security rules. So we can get the data to the cloud Firestore. So click on enable. Just wait for a few seconds. So I guess, as you can see, the build is done. So let's move to the rule. And uh, we need to change to true. So we can get the data to the Firestore. So you can see the publish is done. So now let's test the signing with Google function. So click on that, click on continue. Just wait. So as you can see, the authentication is done and it is successfully moved to the home page. Let's refresh this page. As you can see, the user is a collection and you can see the user data here. So, so Google authentication is done. Now let's move to the Apple authentication. Let's go to the pub dev and copy the, the Apple signing package in our app so we just need to copy and just paste on perspex ml file and use a command s if you are using a mac and control save if you are using a windows so it is done now let's move to the firebase go on authentication part we need to enable the apple so we can get the apple authentication in our app click on save so you can see Apple has been enabled. So now we, to, uh, we need to add the signing in, in with Apple function to get the authentication in our app.
so as you can see we have wrote a complete signing with the apple function now let's move to the sign page and add this function so on gesture detector we'll write auth methods dot signing with apple so now let's move to the xcode and add the sign in with apple function in our app through xcode so let's move to the sign in and capabilities and add the capability in our app so just click on capability part and search the sign in with apple and just double click on that function to add through the xcode so so just double click so as you can see we have added successfully added that now close the xcode and we just need to run flutter run command so just write flutter run and press enter so you wait for a few seconds So as you can see, we have successfully launched our app. Now press on sign in with Apple button. As you can see, it has successfully launched. Now continue with password, enter your password and click on sign in button. Now you can successfully sign in with Apple and can enter through the app. So if you like our video, do like and subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.